Good morning friends good morning my young learners how are you all i hope all of you are enjoying your stay at home enjoying your online classes and making your time meaningful i am rakhi mishra and i welcome you to this session of english class and i am here to discuss unit 2 from your textbook b hive and the name of the unit is the sound of music and i'm going to discuss part 1 now i'm just reading out a very famous quote by leo tolstoy music is the shorthand of emotions my dear students i think you all have guessed you all have understood what i intend to say yes i mean to say the power of music what is music music is one instrument or one such source of pleasure for us and it is one way in which we can translate our emotions music need not be always vocal it can be even instrumental and music is always pleasing to our ears and you might be knowing music is not only just for pleasure or for enjoyment it is somebody's passion it is life for the people and it is even used as a therapy my dear children music therapy is one such way of treating the patients suffering from various ailments even depression and this is the time i think this is an appropriate time for us to know what is the magic in this music and in this context let me tell you your textbook has given you an opportunity a golden opportunity to know to go close to the life of one such musician the world famous musician who is evelyn glen a scottish musician and we are going to read about her her biographical sketch and just see the title that is written here evelyn glen listens to sound without hearing it i think you have guessed something but i am not going to tell you but listen to it my dear children i think you enjoyed that piece of music yes you just saw the video of evelyn glen playing xylophone and she is the world famous percussionist she is world famous solo percussionist now let us see your text has uh, given lot of details about her but there are certain things which i would like to share about her so first of all know about her and then we'll refer we'll again talk about what she played and what is so unique about what you just heard now evelyn glen her name was dame evelyn elizabeth and glen she was born on 19 july 1965 recently she celebrated her birthday in scotland and her father 
Herbert Arthur Glynn was a famous accordionist. Accordion is also a kind of instrument and he used to play in Scottish country dance band. Mother Isabel Glynn was a school teacher. So you can see from here that she was born in a family where music was very much part of their life. She grew up in the musical tradition of Northeast Scotland. As I mentioned, she was born in Scotland. So in the, in the earlier stages, stage of her life, she had grown up in the musical traditions. And her first instrument that she had played was mouth organ and clarinet. She was highly motivated by one of her, one of the famous Indian percussionist and composer Trilo Gotu. Is a Kashmiri Marathi musician. So from this you can make out that music has no boundaries. Music does not talk about walls. Music does not know about any kind of barriers. There is, there should not be anyone between you and me when music comes, irrespective of the place to which we belong. We may belong to different parts of the world, but when it comes to music, it brings us close together. And because the language of music is universal, language of music does not know anything about which country, which place, which religion. That is the beauty of music. Now she grew up, as I said, uh, as a percussionist and percussionist means one who uh, plays all those kinds of instruments which are normally beat, which are uh, like drum and tabla and uh, something that has to be, uh, there has to be some beats on that. You have to uh, strike on that because there are ser several types of instruments when we talk about instruments. There are string instruments which like uh, sitar, like guitar, these are all string instruments. Whereas if you see percussionists, percussion is something where the instruments like drum and something which with an instrument you have to strike it or even you can just uh, beat it with your hands also, right, with your palm. She takes master classes and music in school. She is so fond of teaching the students of different schools, the schools which are meant for, uh, you can say, uh, those children who are uh, you can say who are uh, uh, different from others in terms of their uh, you can say uh, capability or they are specially abled right differently abled we don't say we don't say physically challenged these days we say uh, we use the word differently abled right and she has performed the see the thing see the greatness of this uh, musician she had performed at the opening ceremony of olympic games in london in 2012 and she is even a motivational speaker her life itself is a motivation her life itself is an inspiration and when we read the text when we read about her when we read her biographical sketch you will agree with me that such people they bring difference in our life because they become inspiration for so many people who are having these kinds, these types of, uh, you can say, uh, some kind of barriers, right? Now, she has won several awards, Best Chamber Music Performance in Grammy Awards in 1989. She has also won Leonardo da Vinci Art Award in 1987. She got Best Classical Instrumental Solo in Grammy Awards of 2014 and even she bagged Polar Music Prize in 2015. And this is just a small list because it's a, there's a long, long list of her awards and achievements. But it's not possible for me to list out everything. You can go through the, uh, you can search it in, through various sources and you can find out how, how talented uh, this musician musician is and 
the uh, very interesting thing that a film was released in 2004 which is based on her life and the name of the film is touch the sound if you want i have shown you the poster of this film also you can just have uh, you can spend some time watching this film even there is an autobiography of hers that is good vibrations now when she says vibrations this has a significance in her life how this is significant in her life you will get to know when we read the story now let us read the biographical sketch of evelyn glenn rush hour crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform jostle means a uh, rough uh, roughly pushing somebody and you know what is the scene in all the railway platforms right people all were waiting there uh, for their turn to board the train a slight girl, looking younger than her 17 years, was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train. Now here you must be thinking that why is it written that she could feel the vibrations of the approaching train? Yes, note these clues given to you. It was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London. You can see in the picture, this is a picture of Royal Academy of Music in London. And it's a prestigious, one of the most prestigious, uh, you can say, universities or you can say the academy or the place where music is worshipped. Music is something that people love or it's a dream for the people to get themselves trained from this academy that is royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm yes it was daunting it was quite uh, you can say uh, fearful and uh, for somebody who is really uh, going to going from a very uh, you can say a rural place scottish farm to a completely an urban uh, place that is uh, London, right? But this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most. And what was the challenge? She was profoundly deaf. She was completely deaf. Now here, my dear children, when I had shown you the video, she was playing uh, her xylophone. Could you ever guess or could you ever make out? Could you ever guess even even one person guessed that she was not able to listen. I think all of you will agree with me that no, we can't make out. If we see her, we can't make out that she is deaf because her deafness is not by birth. It was a gradual deafness. She became deaf gradually, not that she was born deaf. But she never allowed this potential barrier to come to become a, a hindrance in her life in achieving what she had dreamt what she had targeted in her life evelyn glenn's loss of hearing had been gradual her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the eight-year-old evelyn was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she didn't move i suddenly realized she hadn't heard says Isabel Glynn, her mother. For quite a while, Evelyn managed to conceal, to hide her growing deafness from friends and teachers because she herself could make out, could feel that she is losing, she is not able to hear. But to avoid, to not let the people know about what she was experiencing, she started, uh, she started hiding it. But by the time she was 11, her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist because this problem, uh, this challenge was really uh, coming into her way of her academic progress. So gradually what happened that she was not able to follow what was being taught and she started scoring less. And this was a big concern for not only the parents, but also for the school authorities. And they requested uh, her parents to shift her to schools which are designed or which are meant for such children having some kind of potential barrier. 
It was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage. So this was not by birth. She gradually had some problem because of which she developed this kind of hear hearing loss. They were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf. Everything suddenly looked black, says Evelyn. Naturally, somebody who is dreaming, who is desiring, who desires to be uh, something extraordinary or she wants to fulfill her dream uh, of becoming a musician or somebody to learn music, gradually when she happens to understand that she is not able to hear, she is, she is gradually becoming a deaf, that really pained her, that really uh, was a great shock for her. But Evelyn was not going to give up. But see the kind of determination she had. She was so determined. Her, she had such strong willpower that this challenge did not come into her path of success and achieving what she had dreamt of. She was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. One day, she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too. She was attracted by that instrument. Most of the teachers discouraged her, but percussionist Ron Forbes spotted her potential. He began by tuning two large drums to different notes. So thanks to Ron Forbes, who could spot, who could spot this talent and who could uh, understand, feel the potential of this girl and helped. In fact, uh, he, he was the one who trained her and became a very good friend and uh, he has always been with her in the entire journey, uh, this entire her journey. Don't listen through ears and he gave a mantra to her. He would say, try to sense it some other way as she was unable to hear. So she, he said that don't bother, you can't, listen, you can't hear, don't worry, you feel that music, you sense it through some other way, says Evelyn. Suddenly I realized I could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down. She started realizing what Ron Forbes had said. Forbes repeated the exercise and soon Evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body. Even she has mentioned that her hair could give her that vibration, that sense of sound. I had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations. The rest was sheer determination and hard work. So my dear children, my dear learners, always remember Never, never, never allow any of your weaknesses to really become so powerful on you that they stop your growth. Rather, convert your weakness into a strength. That is what she did. She, she was so determined. She had such strong willpower. She was so determined and she had worked so hard that her deafness became her strength. She never gave a chance to this entire world to even feel, forget about no, just to feel that she is not able to hear. She looks just like any other, any other great musician of this world. She never looked back from that point onwards and that from there the success, the journey of her success began. She toured the United Kingdom with a youth orchestra and the, by the time she was 16, she had all decided to make music her life. She auditioned. She auditioned means she had gone to several places to perform and prove her, uh, prove her talent because whenever we go for auditions, that is the time when we, at first instance, when we are trying to prove ourselves in our talent, maybe music, maybe singing or dancing or uh, some kind of uh, performing, uh, any kind of performing art or you can say some kind of mu instrumental music. She auditioned for the Royal Academy of Music. Now you can relate it that she was going for her audition. She was going for her audition and she was waiting. She was, in fact, she got her admission there and she was uh, preparing herself for entering into that academy. Royal Academy of Music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy.
she gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances so finally she shifted you must have seen or you can see through different videos uh, available on youtube that she has preferred to perform even in orchestra also you'll find that she has a different uh, she gives she is given importance and she plays prefers to play perform solo right she never wants the things to be mixed up right because she wants her instrument to be listened by the audience by the music lovers exclusively her instrument at the end of her 3 year course she had captured most of the top awards and for all this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement and what does she say she says that if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there is a very famous quote by her if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there never have that feeling and the the stage at which you people are the class 9th the, the challenges are yet to come for you right this is the just the beginning of your uh, very uh, uh, challenging journey right but never say that you can't do it if you work hard and if you know what is your target where you are heading to you will definitely get it and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist why is it multi percussionist you'll be surprised to know she could play 1000 varieties of instruments and you can see in the picture also that how where this is just a small collection that i have uh, tried to show you but she has learned to play or she uh, uh, enjoyed playing around 1000 types of instruments that is a great great uh, quality uh, and a unique quality of any musician and hectic international schedule it is intriguing to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing you could see from the video that she never felt as if she has to uh, put some efforts to really uh, feel or something she was performing as if nobody could make out that she is the one who can't hear in our two hour discussion she never missed a word men with bushy beards give me trouble she laughed it is not just watching the lips it is the whole face especially the eyes she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt lilt means the way of speaking my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 she says that she can speak clearly there is uh, you can you can't make out when she speaks that she can't hear she says but that does not explain how she managed to learn french and master basic japanese that means she has not only restrict, uh, uh, restricted herself for one language but she has even mastered herself she has learned french and even japanese basic japanese As for music she explains it pours into through every part of my body it tingles in the skin what does it mean tingles please note these words the new words that you are coming across because uh, you must have noticed i am not perp- i am not giving you the meanings while we are reading it i i'll give you the list at the end but my dear children always develop this habit of referring to a good dictionary and i would say that uh you can use oxford uh, advanced learners dictionary and that will really help you to understand these words where how these words are used how what is the usage of these words where the, what type of uh, words are these so this helps you improve your vocabulary it tingles in the skin you can make out you can guess the meaning i'm not going to tell you just see guess it what does it mean it tingles in the skin my cheek bones and even in my hair what what tingles that that uh, music right that music tingles in her skin when she plays the xylophone she can sense the sound passing through the stick into her finger tips you can see she has she takes multiple uh, she takes multiple sticks to play the xylophone and it is so swift it is so swift the movement is so swift that sometimes you feel as if the uh, sticks are dancing there and that is the uh, the beauty with this musician by leaning against the drums she can feel the resonances flowing into her body 
she the kind of uh, positions she take the kind uh, the way she stands the way she allows herself to go close very close to the instruments to sense the vibrations that helps her to understand the resonances the music on a wooden platform and whenever she is performing on a wooden platform she has developed a very unique technique she never goes with her shoes she goes bare feet and up her legs on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs not surprisingly evelyn delights her audiences in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year award here goes the list of some more uh, 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 awards and prizes that she has uh, added to the uh, to her credit says master percussionist james blades god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary and what is that extraordinary that she can feel the vibrations she can allow the vibrations to flow into her body and she can feel each and every uh, beat each and every vibration that the instruments produce what we hear she feels that is what i am saying what we hear she feels it far more deeply than any one of us we can hear we can in fact we can listen to these instruments but when it comes to evelyn she could not hear but she could feel it through vibrations in flowing into her body that is why she expresses music so beautifully evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic she is very hard working workaholic means somebody who is very hard working who loves to work day and night i have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the regular concerts evelyn also gives free concerts in prison and hospitals you just see she is a philanthropist also she loves she is so generous she feels the uh, the she wants to give pleasure to those people who are deprived who are deprived like she goes and uh, plays in free concerts in prisons and hospitals because uh, if you remember i was mentioning earlier that music is uh, is one uh, instrument or you can say it is one source which is used as a therapy now music therapy is used even by the doctors to cure the patients she also gives high priority to classes for young musicians and richlin of beethoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is nowhere that they cannot go and here i would mention beethoven you must have heard about him a uh, very famous um, musician he himself had the same problem he also was a deaf but he never allowed and he was also not born deaf so there is a lot of similarity between beethoven and uh, evelyn's life that they were not born deaf but uh, they gradually lost their uh, hearing power and uh, fine they never allowed uh, that weakness or that uh, you can say um, uh, that problem to be to be as a hindrance in their life and there one of the ch the children say that she is a shining inspiration for deaf children yes the deaf children they feel as if she, if she can do why can't we evelyn glen has already accomplished more than most people twice her age she, at this age she is hardly as said she has recently celebrated her 56 years of uh, 56th birthday and she at this age uh, probably she has gained enormous uh, popularity she has been so famous amongst the musicians amongst the in the whole world she is known throughout the globe and 
what she has achieved what she has accomplished perhaps many people twice her age have not she has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving she has given inspiration to those who are handicapped people who look to her and say note this if she can do it i can and not the least she has given enormous pleasure to millions so we here we go the text part is over the biographical sketch this is just a very limited one you can even if you want if you are interested if you are really inspired by her life then you can even search for her autobiography and explore more details explore more about her life which may work as a wonder in your life and inspire you to do something great like her now here you see the word meanings are given jostle slight daunting frightening aspiring musician somebody who is interested to be musician impaired means weakened xylophone is a kind of instrument having rows of wooden bars of different lengths you had seen it in the uh, video percussionist again i said those who play drum and uh, uh, tabla and something which is to be beat uh, there has to be some uh, you have to strike it or beat it right potential that means the power quality ability then auditioned i have already mentioned so you go and perform intriguing means fascinating or curious flawlessly without any mistake and lilt means the way of speaking tingles here we get it causes a slight pricking or stinging sensation yes stinging sensation you feel as if something is uh, something is pricking you that kind of sensation she could feel and resonances resonance echo echo workaholic somebody who is very uh, is fond of working difficult to stop working priority give importance preference now we have some questions for you textual questions quickly have a look at these how old was i'm not going to tell you the answers you have to just see and do these refer to the text and find out the answers for these how old was evelyn when she went to the royal academy of music what when was her deafness first noticed and what when was it confirmed these are the questions which have to be answered uh, hardly in a, a in couple of sentences right you don't have to write paragraph nor you have a scope of writing in paragraphs here you have some questions which are short answer type questions who helped her to continue with music and what did he do and say again direct question i think you know uh, i'll give you a hint ron forbes right so you have to talk about him name the various places and causes for which evelyn perform various places just now i mentioned she was very generous she had lot of concern for those people who sometimes had missed or who had missed something in their life that means she used to play in uh, in prisons and sometimes in hospitals also and there is one um, question which has to be answered how does evelyn hear music this is a long question you have to describe how she has mentioned in her auto in her biography in in this biography how it is mentioned that how she feels or how she can hear the music in spite of having lost the sense of hearing right now we have uh, i would just talk a bit of language here right uh, this text has got some uh sentences and two sentences are written here these are uh, picked up from the text itself evelyn was determined to live a normal life evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers these are the two lines taken now i'm i'm not going into the uh, content part of it rather i would go to the language part of it and you note the verb here evelyn was determined to live you note the word the verb here live in the second sentence you note the verb conceal did you notice one thing that these verbs these verbs are attached with the other preposition to but my dear children it is not to is not a preposition here you have to note it here it is not a preposition it is not used as a preposition and we say these are two to be verbs right or two verbs and there are two if you see the kinds of verbs one are uh, one type is base verbs and the other one is 
infinite verbs so these verbs take two form they are added with two and the beauty with this that if you write a verb with two two plus a v1 always note it two will always be followed by the first form of the verb it will never take ing form it will never take ed form right it will always have v1 that is the beauty and uh, what does so uh, note these words these are to be forms and we have one small question here uh, which you can do it the school sports team i have not uh, uh, written the all the uh, questions here i have just mentioned i have just included three rest you can do you have to use two verbs two verb here remember you have to think the it's, uh, it's an open ended uh, question to you uh, the school sports team hopes something to win to perform better anything but it has to be a two verb you cannot write for performing better hopes for performing that is not correct right so you have to use two form two plus some verb we all want what i don't know what you all want so you can write what you all want they advise the hearing impaired child's mother doctor must have advised or somebody must have advised like evelyn's parents were advised to send her to uh to uh, uh, get some kind of uh, uh, instrument uh, or some kind of um, uh, thing that that, uh, that has that will help her to hear and or she she was uh, they were advised to be sent to uh, a, a school which is specially designed for the children deaf children right now now with this uh, we come to the end of the uh, discussion part now my dear children what message do we get from this story from this biography it is that if we have determination if we have decided that we have to do something in life in spite of all the challenges in spite of all the hindrances in spite of all the barriers all the walls standing between you and that dream that you have if you think you have you are determined if you have that will power i think no such wall can exist or can afford to exist it is only you it is only we who whose mind who will decide whether we can do it or not and from such lives like evelyn we get to know we get inspiration we get motivated that if she can do if she has proved it to the world that her potential barrier has never become a barrier it has never come into the way of her success she has achieved what many double her age have failed to achieve and to end this session i have a beautiful piece of her speech which she had recently addressed at the frankfurt international school Uh, to the high school graduates she was addressing uh, it is a virtual address because she is uh, it's just one month ago uh, this has happened and she is addressing to the students uh, virtually and she is so delighted and she shares her entire journey it's a long video of around 10 minutes or so i am able i'm not able to show you the entire thing i'll just show you a clipping of it note her words I'm 16 year old new to London I needed to assure my parents I was safe and because I could not hear on the phone letters were the order of the day until the wonderful fax machines came along right through to texts and emails and now my main stream of communication is via social media There are of course pros and cons to all those means of communication but it's the value of communicating face to face that undoubtedly makes interaction with others truly come alive that for technology used wisely and especially essential at this time is fantastic however nothing truly compares to the power of face to face communication communication whether it be a smile a brief conversation or a musical performance it's the presence of another human which gives weight to our existence we all have the opportunity to make a difference through paying attention to our presence 
and connection with others. That is what it means to listen. Having created my career as the world's first full-time solo percussionist, I commend you all to move forward with your dreams. Never take no for an answer and believe what is inside of you. Understand power of strength. It doesn't mean always having the right answers or making the right decisions. But strength comes in the form of asking for help and support too. Talking about your fears or concerns, constantly redefining, revisiting, re-evaluating what and how you do things, never being afraid to take risks. And remembering to look up, out and all around because the past, present and future are all important to consider in every action we take. So my dear children, you just listened to a part of her speech and I'm sure you were all moved by what she said. You all were so keenly listening to it. I'm 100% I'm sure that you were keenly listening to her speech, to her words that she mentioned. She said, never have a fear. Move ahead. Set your targets. Never, never allow yourself to listen to those words which often demotivate you. Have a target, have a dream and always strive hard to achieve that dream, to fulfill that dream because nothing is impossible if we are determined, if we have a strong willpower and each one of us, each one of us has been gifted by God such quality that we can do, we can achieve what we have decided, what we have, what we have dreamt of. If we are all if we all concentrate, if we all are focused and we have set a mission in our life. And very rightly, uh, she has mentioned that I am not a deaf musician. I am a musician who happens to be deaf. A deaf musician will not receive anything. But it is not with me. I am a musician who happens to be deaf. So with this quote, I conclude and thank all my listeners, all my lovely students who definitely must have been inspired by the life of this musician Evelyn Glenn. Listening to oneself will put you in a better position to listen to another. Thank you my dear children. Have a nice day.